بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم شروع اللہ کے نام سے جو بڑا مہربان نہایت رحم والا ہے تم اپنے پروردگار کی کون کون سی نعمت کو جھٹلاؤ گے
To provide for this growing demand, the sector needs to expand. Not only expand, but also to modernize. And of course, it has many positive side effects. One of them would be, the, the, let's say, the increment of the uh, number of dairy related uh, skilled jobs. Now, those skilled jobs means additional income, it means growth for the economy, it means something good for the individual, and uh, very positive for Pakistan as a whole. So, we, the Dutch, so to say, we have the products, the expertise, and the services to needed by Pakistan to make this required transition in its dairy sector. So, that's why we are here to show you today what uh, we can do for you and with you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, at the same time you know that the Netherlands, although a very small country, I think we're about 5% of the surface of uh, Pakistan, um, we are the second biggest exporter of dairy products worldwide. So you can be small and still be very relevant in your own typical niche market. And we are, definitely we are. So we have our high quality, our high intensity, and our high sustainable agribusiness experience to offer to you in your cooperation. At this time, maybe it's an opportunity for me to allow, please if you allow me to introduce five of the uh, Dutch companies represented here. I'll name them, so perhaps you probably know the persons who, who go together with the company names. The first is Solf Agri Pak, who's representing Solf Agri Pak. Please, in the back. Maxim International, there we are, very much in the back as well. BioLife Pakistan, ProFarm Pakistan, there we are, and Agri from Agri from Pakistan. Here we are. So those are at least five representatives of the Dutch industry here in Pakistan and here, uh, active and uh, present uh, during the meeting. So please make use of it and connect, but probably you know them already very well. You know, this cow, this black and white cow, the Frisian, Holstein Frisian cow standing over there, it's a small one, but we are thinking of bringing a bigger one, but the, uh, the air freight was a bit expensive. And you know, <coughs> the Dutchman, so we are a bit stingy, so we try to squeeze at, on the cost, so that's why we brought in a small one instead of a bigger one. But you know, the bigger one look alike, only a few times bigger. But this is the uh, Holstein Friesian, and I must say, the Netherlands is the cradle of that type of cow. We bred it to perfection. We have had a leading position when it comes to the genetic quality, very important. Our Holstein Frisians are the highest milk producing cows in the world. That's not a, a, a small, a small uh, result. We have the advanced knowledge and expertise on how to feed, uh, how to care, and how to manage these animals. As a result, we have been able to improve the productivity of the Frisian cows further raising the profitability for, uh, let's say, of the dairy farming tremendously. That, of course, I mean, you're all business people here in the hall, and that is, of course, essential. So, uh, having said that, maybe, if you forgive me boasting a bit, uh, I'm, I am personally very proud of being here at this event with such a splendid Dutch product. Being the son of a dairy farmer myself, uh, some many years ago, I know it's many years, but uh, I still remember me milking the cow by hand, helping my father and the, the, the company uh, had. That was normal in those days. Well, but that's a long time ago. Now I think the scale of dairy farming is really uh, substantial, substantial here in, in Pakistan. So I think. That memory of me has, has really become a memory, not only in the Netherlands, but definitely also in Pakistan. So let me not venture any further into this memory lane, but um, let me make way for the, uh, for the other speakers.
But be before doing so, I would uh, like to well, wish you all a very pleasant, informative, and uh, fruitful evening, ladies and gentlemen. I hope to see you and just talk to you further uh, afterwards. Thank you very much. Our next speaker here this evening, I would like to invite Mr. Adil Shakil from the Corporate Dairy Farmers Association. Thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear Mr. Franz and Rick, <coughs> distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Corporate Dairy Farmers Association, I am highly thankful for the Dutch Embassy for giving me a chance to share my experience and highlight some possible future opportunities for the Pakistani dairy sector. Corporate Dairy Farmers Association, CDFA, as the name suggests, is an association of big dairy farming enterprises who want to work together to resolve problems and issues facing by, by the dairy sector, especially uh, the big farmers of Pakistan, and to try to bring matters of common interest with one face towards the government and allied agencies, respectively. Our members ideally have sizes of 1,500 to 5,000 uh, herd sizes and increasing rapidly. This concept of uh, corporate dairy farming in Pakistan started in 2006 and 2007, and from there onwards it has spread at a reasonably fast pace. Pakistan is the third largest milk producer with 52 million cattle and buffalo. The dairy sector which is contributing to 11% towards the GDP of Pakistan economics, which is almost 50% of the agriculture GDP of Pakistan. Our total, produced, uh, our total produced milk in Pakistan is only 5 to 7%, uh, which is going towards processing. And uh, while this is a small number, for us uh, members of the CDFA, 90% of the milk that we produce is going towards uh, the processing in Pakistan. This high quality milk is the backbone of the value added products produced by the various processors of Pakistan. In the meanwhile, dairies of Pakistan are facing some major challenges with regards to the increasing prices of the imports and uh, lower practical knowledge of available human resources, lower milk yields of local as well as imported animals as compared to the developed countries. By opening this import window of cattle from the Netherlands, we have taken the first step towards improving our dairy sector as well as the path touch relationship in the business relationship. This move will prove to be a great option to bring in pedigreed animals uh, which will offer better annual yields and more lactations per animal. I believe that we are very open to expedite different future business opportunities with the Dutch agencies, uh, especially in the field of biogas, value added milk products as well as manure byproducts. Let's join hands and work together to open more windows and more businesses together. Once more, I'm highly thankful for the Dutch Embassy and the Honourable Ambassador for their efforts towards the dairy in Pakistan. Thank you, Adil. Um, I just wanted to say that there will be an interactive session after our expert. And so any questions or queries, we will answer them later on. Uh, now I would like to invite Mr. Anna Terpstra uh, from Dairy Training Centre Netherlands who will come and answer and give us the lowdown on the Frisian cows, on the Dutch Frisian and the Netherlands dairy sector. So Mr. Anna Terpstra. Thank you, Nabila. First of all, uh, I would like to make... Uh, uh, first of all, uh, I would like to thank you, Nabila and her staff, for what they all did over here because uh, I was pretty close to the organizational part and I was very much surprised that this afternoon at 12 o'clock uh, people were discussing about uh, the big uh, flyer behind us and uh, it's almost six hours, five hours later and it's all here. So I think uh, for the organization, I, first of all, I would like a big applause because what they did, uh, I can't describe it. Okay. Then, uh, Basim uh, already knows a little bit how I, uh, how I behave. I don't like to stand behind such an audience. I like to, uh, to talk in between the people. And uh, yes, talk in between the people. Uh, I have a long time to talk according to the schedule, almost one hour. 
So we will see uh, if we can do it in half an hour, but if it takes two hours, sorry for that. The reason why I am here, uh, like Nabila already says, I am here uh, on behalf of the Dutch Dairy Trading Center. Uh, but on the flyer you see also uh, Cipro Holland. Yes, Cipro Holland uh, was intending to be here, but there were some problems uh, getting the visa. Also, the people from from PTC were supposed to be here. So there were several people who asked me, "Okay, you go to Pakistan, you will be there." I informed the people in Pakistan during that seminar also a little bit about Pipro Holland, about their trading center Cleveland, about the region and about some exporters. So that's the reason why they probably gave me so much time. Uh, I do have a presentation because the presentation also makes it a little bit easier uh, to, uh, to talk. I don't know if there is something I can use to press on, uh, Wasim. All right, now, uh, this is what I already said. Is this something I can handle myself, or does he have to press all that? Okay, then you can move up to the next one. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I'm here, as uh, Mr. Franz and Nabila already said, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, the Dutch cows. Now, uh, I would like to inform you a little bit about the Dutch cows. As uh, Mr. Franz already said, they are high genetic cows. Uh, they can produce a lot of milk. He also said it's the highest productive cow in the world. I'm very proud of that, that someone else is, uh, is telling us that the Dutch cow is the high productive cow in the world. That it also means that if you want to keep those kind of cows in, uh, in the environmental conditions like here in Pakistan, then, yeah, the question is there how to manage those cows. Yeah? And that's what I wrote on the slide. Uh, I think that when you start talking managing cows in, in other conditions where they are being raised, then you need to pinpoint a few attention points and other people are saying, no, it's a point of concern. I wrote down nine different items. I could have added ten more, but let's start with, uh, with the first one about the cat.